Ons and Stipe Miocic. Well, huge buzz for this fight, and round one is now underway. A clash of styles in some respects between a grappler and a 5 2 player type, but certainly the more well rounded fighter has no problem. No, he doesn't mind grappling, but he also has the ability to fight on the feet, something the grappler does not really feel comfortable with doing. He seems to be behind the eight ball a little bit, but let's see how he manages getting this fight to the ground. And they separate. Early round one here, big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jet. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's a taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can't just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Jones. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by the heavyweight Miocic. Back to the feet now. Oh, man, hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Stipe. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. The shot is blocked by Miocic. That's how you defend the single one. Oh, and he gets the takedown here. We'll see what he can do with it. Fighters back to their feet here. Under two minutes now to go. Switching stances here. That was a thudding leg kick. Slips the punch. Nice. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, collar tie. Big knee lands to the body. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. You got to check these low leg kicks. Oh, that's a good right hand. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Forget the turtle in that kick. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lots for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Nice loop and punch. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Jones. 35 total strikes have already landed for Stipe Miocic. Well, dipping just below 50% in terms of the connection rate, landing with 49% accuracy tonight thus far against John Jones. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt there. You can see I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message to his opponent saying, I'm going to shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, he got defended. Set up your attack, man. Oh, big punch land. Yeah. 
Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got that. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. He got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Jones is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. He loaded up with that right hand, too. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by the heavyweight Miocic. Continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Back to the feet now. Nice slip to avoid the left. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? And they separate. Under a minute now to go. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs. To throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He dictated the fight with a jab. And everything's landing with so much power. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1-level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his leg in that situation. And he landed the right hand there. Takedown defense holds up. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Well, a lot of these shots with power behind them. 66 total strikes have landed for Stipe. Just below 50% now in terms of the accuracy rate, landing 46% tonight against John Jones. His lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck, and he will have to submit. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up and when he does, he creates this space to land a beautiful ground and combination. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be troubled defensively. All right, side control now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's 
not touch it. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. He blocks the punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous round. Face punching at its best. Ha. He loaded it up. He threw it straight. Threw it long. And over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship Ready? rounds. What is a Ready? fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Miocic split the guard beautifully there. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice job by Miocic on the feet, making some adjustments, and man, that jab looks clean tonight. I mean, that jab looks clean, but you gotta be very careful not to get hit with a steep Miocic right hand. It's powerful, it's straight, and it can be very damaging. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Not there. Three minutes remain in the round. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh. Miocic appears wobbly. Oh! oh! Really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh! Oh, he's hurt. Oh! Huge right hand! So he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's getting lit up right now, John. Oh, huge elbow! Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Under a minute to go in round four. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Miacic. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. you got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, so there's the end of the round. And on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Oh, nice elbow lands for John Jones and kind of throws it like a jab. Just looks very comfortable throwing that lift. I mean, that's a strike of choice when you're in close, right? He's long, so punching in those tight. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Good 
punch land. Oh, that is a nasty inside leg kick, DC. It is. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. And he deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Wow! He's out! Unbelievable. What a performance. Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. All right, here's Bruce. Ready? Ready? Our round one is underway between one of the more well-rounded fighters in this division against maybe the best grappler in this division. Going to be interesting to see how it plays out style. Yeah, you would think that he would just avoid grappling at all costs. He seems to have a clear advantage on the feet. But we've seen guys fight with their egos before. Let's see how he approaches this matchup. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the show. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Beautiful strike. Oh, loaded up on that uppercut, but it's no good. Straight right, he misses. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost part in mixed martial arts. Guys were pounded, and they were fighting behind him real well. Oh, he heard a belly jab. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Just out of range with that uppercut. Ooh. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Just over two minutes to go. And they separate. Ooh, big shot land. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just over 20 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. John Jones, and he is fighting with a definite killer instinct. And you have to have it, because the target is always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems desperate to keep that title right on Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Folks, round two, Johnny Bones Jones. Ready? And on the other side, Stipe Miocic. 
Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, blocks the shot. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. So 42 total strikes. Oh! No! His reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Oh! Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Oh! Back to the feet. Down landed clean. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Huge right hand! Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. You oh! It's over! It's over! He got him! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner yet... I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side hook. If you're the opponent, you have to get out of here. Your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch. Wow. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Hook is there again. with these beautiful leg kicks. Straight punch lands. Oh, nice. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Just over two minutes, round one. Pretty good work off of the bottom here by Miacic. Side control now. 
I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Back mount now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Jones. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, no problem. Let's recover, relax, take it off. Forget that last round. This round, you're really gonna set up those takedowns. I want you to do that. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, round two. Oh, nice strike landed there by the heavyweight Miocic. Oh, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones, and he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight, DC. And you have to have it, because the target's always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems destined to keep that title right around. Left hand punch to the clinch. What a body hit. Left punch is good. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Nice punch there. Oh! Left hand punch to the clinch. He is throwing a fast, straight hard jab. That's not a feeling jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Jones going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Well, the stats producer's been busy tonight. DC, 49 total strikes have landed for John Jones. Striking at a 57. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown the pimp without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? Alright, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. He actually goes to an omoplata. Great pressure going forward by the top fighter now. You can certainly count on one hand the number of omoplatas that have been executed in the octagon. Right into side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten the out and just go for the finish. And that's the end of round number two. I don't think he's going to change his game plan. 
All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Straight right hand, no good. Working out of that southpaw stance. Big punch land. Ooh. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Stuff to take down, no problem. Sauce reference in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Nice kick. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Well, the numbers continue to pile up. 74 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. And still landing at a pretty good clip, DC, landing with 58% accuracy against Stipe Miocic. That strike blocked by Jones. And just misses with that big right hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. He's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Nice punch land over the top. Oh, huge block. Just misses there with the left. Another punch position. out of range with that right hook. Look at how fast. I'm the only person I can do this to is Jamie John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know you did too much. You missed a lot of your classes. If I'm going to do this to anybody, it's Andy. Beautiful oh. kick. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Got the single collar tied. And there comes the separation now. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are heading to the championship round. A lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus two. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normal. It's a 15-minute fight. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, huge kick to the leg. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there, unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent, his ability to see the shots coming, defend them, and make the fight happen where he wants to. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Oh, right. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Just over 
three minutes to go. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Try to establish that jab. Miocic oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Lands with a right hand. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, we're getting to finish here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. focus and the commitment to getting the finish. You could tell he was in hot pursuit of that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it, so he sets it up beautifully, lets it materialize almost organically, and ultimately gets the desired result. Right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. All right. Ready? Ready? Fight. All right, so the fight is now underway. On one side, here's a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it up with. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. Just missing on the uppercut there. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Great punch. Single collar tie now. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. That's a good right hand there by Stipe. Maybe he'll attack the body here. You can certainly speak to that. He's yeah. a guy who mixes it up well on the feet. He's a guy that can do everything. And not only can he land punches of high and punches of low, but he's a master of adjusting on the fly whenever he's inside the out. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice straight punch. That knee might have landed there. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Jones. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for John Jones. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Straight punch landing with so much power. straight hand there. 
Nice job by Miacic. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Oh, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! Wow, what a fight! Oh! 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 Oh, big left! Final seconds of round one! Grabbing the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and it's landing those beautiful punches. Really's got his opponent on notice here. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, five minutes in the can. Here we go now with the start of round two. John Jones. And Stipe Miacic. What a punch. Watch the shot. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that arm. Nice and Beautiful kick landed by this man. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Beautiful body kick. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph. Oh! 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 Oh, nice right hand. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Oh, oh eight total strikes. Oh, 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 oh. Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to rotate that finish down now. Oh! Back to the feet. Oh! So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one. A little bit of a feeling out process. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight is landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He's the event. So here we go. Round one is underway. Very compelling matchup for fight fans around the world. And going to be very interesting to see how soon the grappler goes for the takedown. Well, so he's going to try to get the takedown right away. But when he shoots that shot, when he changes that level, he is going to be shooting into a guy that truly understands all aspects of mixed martial arts. I'm wondering how, if his first shot doesn't work, does he approach trying to get this fight through the ground? Really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. 
Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. His left hand punch in the clinch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice job by Miocic on the feet, making some adjustments, and man, that jab looks clean tonight. I mean, that jab looks clean, but you gotta be very careful not to get hit with a steep Amy Ocean's right hand. It's powerful, it's straight, and it can be very damaging. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Jones is circling to his right now. Effective punch there by Miocic, split the guard beautifully there. You don't know when that leg gets coming. Stuff. Oh, that was a big kick. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, wow, oh, oh! Somehow stays in the fight. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Jones. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Five seconds now to go on the round. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. While well, working pretty effectively from the top here, nice ground and pound by Johnny Bone. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need to control the posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. I want you to keep doing Push the pace on this guy. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting taken down back to the mat. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Huge block there. Beautiful leg kick throw. Big kick land. That one looked like it really hurt. Better make some adjustments here. Gotta make some adjustments. You cannot take those shots to the head like that. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook, Behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. So 37 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. And landing with 43% accuracy against Steve Baby. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Yeah. 
Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, straight punch lands flush. Oh, God. when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems destined to keep that title right along the way. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with meaning. Miacic gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here though. Twenty seconds to go. Nice kick landed there by Jones. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, folks, here we go with our next round. And in terms of his output and his efficiency with his significant strikes in the previous round, you can argue that was the best five-minute stretch of his UFC career. Oh, absolutely the best five minutes he has ever had. Oh! Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects. And that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Back to his feet. Beautiful punch. Oh, beautiful handiwork there from Stipe Miocic. His head coach, Marcus Marinelli, really feels like during this training camp, Stipe took his boxing to the next level. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. Really driving his shit into his opponent's thigh. Beats his leg up. So unofficially, 64 total strikes have landed for John Jones. And a 45% accuracy rate thus far against Stipe Miocic. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most skipped on all these shots get blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best quick fighters in the UFC. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Miacic gets back up again. Got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Wow! Use her. Serve him up. Go get him. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Big knee to the body. seconds now to go in the round. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Johnny Bone. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, 
cut their chin, fight down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready? You ready? Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did. Oh! Punch coming, it's blocked. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Boy, Todd Clutch. That one's going in. Nice strike. Punch is blocked. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, no! Trying the flying knee there. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Great action to get to that takedown. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Johnny Bone. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Submission. All right, so here we go. Round one is underway, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he understood the grappling challenge he's up against. He's not afraid to engage on the ground. It's a danger that is not worth risking. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. When this fight gets to the ground, you enter his world, especially when it looks like you hold the advantage on the feet. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Big punch landing for the middle. Jones has got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. Oh, collar tie. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Lead left by Jones. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Left hand punch for the clinch. Sound defensively here as he stays upright. Double leg takedown, no good. Just missed with the left there. Ooh, what a punch. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, nice elbow lands for John Jones. And he kind of throws it like a jab. Just looks very comfortable throwing that one. I mean, that's his strike of choice when you're in close, right? He's long. So punching in those tight quarters may not work well for him. So he leans on those elbows when he's chest to chest with his opponent. No glove, no pad on that elbow. I'm told. No pad on the elbow, very pointy too. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. 
Big power shot there. All right, single collar tie now. 